This is my 1928 at water Kent model 49 TRF radio. Um, as opposed to most um, TRF radios, it only has um, one tuning knob which um, controls the tuning of all the stages. Um, usually the earlier ones have one tuning knob per stage. This one here has got, let me get around there, I think about four tuning capacitors and a small tuning capacitor right in that corner. You can't see it without me being an acrobat, but take my word for it. This one's here for the antenna tuning. This one's there for the main tuning. Got two rheostats, uh, one for the four RF stages and one for the detector. Um, at the bottom, you've got the um, on-off switch for the filaments. So let's turn this little fella on. Oh, firstly, I'll just move this out way. Rather than using a pair of headphones, I'm actually running it into a matching transformer um, to go into a speaker. Um, these things usually use um, 01A um, valves, but this one has got some Philips A609s, um, followed by an A605 for the output stage. It'll actually help if I point the camera in the spot which I'm trying to show, but yeah, being a male, I don't multitask all that well, so sue me. And then we've got the coils over here. Enough of the boring stuff, let's have a listen to what this thing sounds like. Um, as you can see, it's, or as you can hear, it's rather loud. I'm just going to turn that rear stat down. As you can see, in the old days, rather than actually having a volume control as a voltage divider, you got a, a rear stat to reduce the... Um, voltage that goes to the filament. Um, rather primitive, but it works. Let's see. You can see I'll just turn it down a bit more. No audio. Now you have to listen to my annoying voice, so I'll just turn it back up. And just to prove to you um, the audio is coming from this radio, let me just change the station. Um, football. Um, I hate footy. Let's just go back to the old music. Somewhere here. Here we go. Give it a bit of a fine tune. Ah, that's better. All right. I may make another video sooner or later when I um, actually um, fix this thing because at the moment you probably see these two little cans here. Can one, can move that a bit. Can two. Those are interstage transformers for the um, audio stages. They're dead. Back in the 60s, someone actually fixed this thing up rather than replacing the um, interstage transformers. Um, put in um, some resistors and capacitors to make it capacitively coupled as opposed to um, transformer coupled. Um, it does the job, does it rather nicely, but me being pedantic and a purist, I figured I'm going to um, replace those anyway with um, some new ones to get it back to the way it's meant to be because, you know, it's an antique. You may as well try and preserve it as much as possible. But um, on that note, we've just passed the about the three and a half minute mark. Uh, I think that's enough yakking from me, so um, enjoy. Have fun.